Hello and welcome to episode 50 of the Daily Decrypt, Independent Members, LTV Network. I am Amanda, your host, and today's episode is brought to you by NewBits. No. Fold app has finally rolled out their Target discount, and it is only available inside the Airbits wallet. You may remember Fold app is the service that offers 20% off Starbucks gift cards for Bitcoin. Now within the Airbits wallet buy, sell, and spend area, you can find Fold app's new 10% off Target gift cards as well. This new Fold app integration has come shortly after Airbits partnered with the Glidera Bitcoin exchange to offer buying and selling directly from within the wallet as well. A mystery man going by the name Henry Jones has begun distributing Android devices preloaded with Bitcoin and Bitcoin apps to homeless people in his city. Henry publishes his methods on his GitHub repository named Indigent Android Bitcoin. This is the first recipient of one of Henry's phones, which he buys used and in bulk, and then preloads with BitHala, Mycelium, and even makes Reddit and Google Play accounts. Henry writes that he was surprised to find out how few of the homeless people in his city knew about things like free Wi-Fi. So now he also includes written instructions on how to connect to Wi-Fi and places his recipients can spend their new Bitcoin. Prize Rebel is a marketing feedback site that millions of people use to earn small bits of money in exchange for taking surveys, watching videos, and signing up for websites. And now Bitcoin is an available payout option on Prize Rebel. Using a Snap card, Prize Rebel users will now be able to exchange their points for a redeemable code that gets them Bitcoin when they visit the Snap card website. Mycelium Wallet has just announced that they'll soon be releasing a web and mobile app called Swish. Swish will initially be geared to Bitcoin accepting food establishments. The app serves as an ordering and payment gateway, letting customers pre-order their food and make payment before they arrive at the restaurant. Mycelium is taking signups for both merchants and customers who'd like to use Swish in this pre-release stage. Sponsored shout out from Free Press Publications, or FPP, which is an alternative news and media publishing site that is dedicated to a free press for the freedom movement. News, commentary, and podcasts regarding all things peace, love, and freedom can be found daily at fpp.cc. The publisher also actively seeks submissions from new authors and invites you to peruse their book selection in their Bitcoin store at btcshop.fpp.cc. And that CC stands for Creative Commons. Coder Sergei Lonshikov has told Russian Bitcoin magazine Forklog that he's putting the finishing touches on an Ethereum smart contract which would hire drones for jobs. The contract would negate the need for a human operator of the drone and would instead send GPS-based job specifications and a cryptocurrency payment for verified job completion. The contract is called the Drone Employee Solution, and Sergey reports that he hopes to start testing with real drones in January and to release a web interface in the following months. Today's episode has been brought to you by Nubits, which is a cryptocurrency for people who want relative stability in the value of their currency. One Nubit has equaled almost exactly one US dollar since its launch in 2014. Learn more at newbits.com. For Let's Talk Bitcoin viewers, today's magic word is pistachio. And everybody remember to subscribe.